Hey guys, Thunder E here and the Pixel 4 XL is finally here. So how does it stock up against the Galaxy Note 10 Plus? This video is gonna be a little unconventional because we'll be testing things that most people don't, so let's jump in. Okay, let us begin. This is a transcription of the uh, Pixel XL and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now, as you know, Conor Segala, I like to do a lot of dictation because sometimes war is very dangerous. But also, I need proof to tell my wives that I am not doing anything nefarious, like, you know, chasing other wives. Anyway, this is a very good example of what these phones can do. Thank you very much, and yes. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed my little speech there on both the uh, Pixel 4 SL and the Galaxy. Anyway, I'll be back really soon, so stay tuned to the end of this video. So the brand new Pixel 4 XL is uh, Google's latest entry, of course, into the top tier smartphone market. This thing comes packed with a lot of cool features, but the first thing we're gonna check out, of course, is charging. The Pixel 4 XL does come with a fast charger at 18 watts, and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus has a 25 watt charger. Now, uh, both devices have two different battery sizes with, of course, a 3700 milliamp battery in the Pixel 4 XL, and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus has a uh, 4300 milliamp battery, but without wasting more time, let's do some charging. So as we kick this off with an ultra fast uh, charge test, we know that the Pixel 4 XL uses an 18 watt charger. The Galaxy Inbox uses a 25 watt. It also has a 45 watt charger if you want to. Now both devices were powered on after it started at 0% and the Pixel comes with 3700 milliamp, 3700 milliamp battery for the Pixel 4 XL while the Galaxy Note 10 Plus comes with a 4300 milliamp battery. So bigger battery as well as also um, a larger charger. But we want to see how fast and what is the difference here in terms of the charging speeds. Now, our Galaxy Note 10 Plus usually tops in at about an hour, seven minutes, or hour, 10 minutes for full charge. So we'll probably be around that range. But we haven't done anything for the Pixel 4 XL. So we're getting close to that hour seven range here. And uh, we'll see what the Galaxy Note 10 comes to in terms of full charge. And that should be around now at an hour, seven minutes. Now the Pixel 4 XL comes in at full charge at an hour 58. So that's something to definitely take note. So you can clearly see that the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is still pretty good in charging with a bigger battery. Yes, it does have a larger charger and the Pixel is on the slower side. Now, when it comes to battery life, I can tell you that the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which we've used for more than a month or two or even three, uh, has a pretty good uh, lifespan in terms of battery life. You can use this for at least close to about 20 hours or so. The Pixel is on the lower end. I will not give it a full judgment yet. I use it for at least more than a week, but the battery life on the Pixel 4 XL is okay at best. I would say uh, roughly giving you about 12 to 13 hours or so. That's just from my first initial impressions. Now, when it comes to other charging methods on this device, you do have wireless charging. Now the Pixel 4 XL uses a wireless charger. You can use, of course, the speaking charger, which I have here, um, but it charges at around 7.5 watts, while the Galaxy Note 10 Plus charges up to 15 watts if you use the Samsung charger. So you do have faster charging on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now, another feature on this device is a 90 Hertz display on the Pixel 4 Excel. It's the big craze that everyone's talking about. But one thing to mention is that its display is not as bright as what you have on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. The Pixel 4 XL comes in at about 425 nits, while the Galaxy Note 10 Plus can go up to 1300 nits, which means, of course, when you're watching HDR content, it looks better, brighter, and sharper on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Yes, 90 Hertz is great for gaming, and you do have that variable uh, refresh rate that can switch between 60 and 90 whenever you want to, or you can force it with developer options. But how does gaming handle on both devices? We do have the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which goes up to 12 gigs of RAM, while the Pixel 4 XL gives us six gigs of RAM. Now, I think in terms of general game performance, as you look at both devices, you probably get around the same performance, but let's go ahead and check out gameplay from both the Pixel 4 XL and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus playing some Call of Duty Mobile. <laughs> Thank you. 
So gaming on both devices is really solid. Uh, there were no frame rate drops with Call of Duty Mobile. And again, this is a game that's been well optimized. Uh, but in terms of temperatures, the Pixel 4 XL went up to about 102 degrees. So it runs rather warm or hot, actually, if you will. Uh, it doesn't have any special cooling like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which ran at about 97 degrees or so in terms of temp. So the Galaxy Note 10 Plus has an advantage there when it comes to temperatures on the device. Now, there are a couple of things that make a device worth having. You know, a lot of people like to have stereo speakers on their devices, and both devices do have stereo speakers. Now, the uh, Galaxy Note 10 Plus does have Dolby Atmos as well, which is something you can activate to help enhance the audio performance of your device, uh, while the Pixel 4 XL uh, boasts stereo speakers with some good audio overall. Now, usually we do a speaker test, so in this video, we're showcasing both speakers in our speaker test sample to see how loud they are and also how good they actually sound. At least from my ears, the Pixel 4 XL actually sounds slightly better than the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. You guys let me know what you think. I kind of prefer the richer sound, or at least the fuller sound that I got from the Pixel 4 XL. Yes, the Galaxy uh, Note 10 Plus sounds really good and is louder coming at 104.9 decibels compared to the 102.9 decibels on the Pixel 4 XL. But I felt the sound was much richer on the Pixel 4 XL. Now, both devices have multiple cameras. We do have, of course, uh, triple cameras on uh, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and Rare. One, of course, is an ultra-wide lens, which is missing from the Pixel 4 XL, which has dual cameras. One is a telephoto with 2x uh, zoom and also 8x uh, digital zoom. And we do have, of course, a standard camera. Now, Pixel is known well for its photos, and uh, we'll see how well they've improved that compared to what Samsung has done this year with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. But the Pixel ha um, has been known in the past not to have really good video, and this device is capped at 4K 30 frames per second, while the Galaxy Note 10 Plus can shoot at 4K 60, and also has a super, um, super steady mode. So let's look at some photos from both devices, see how they actually pair up, and also video as well. So taking a look at images at both the Pixel 4 XL and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, looking at this uh, rose, the Galaxy S10 Note 10 Plus is actually more saturated, which is typical with Samsung, but I think it's more on user preference. Now, when you look at this backlit image, the Pixel 4 XL is flatter, the Galaxy is a little bit punchier in terms of the sky color, but again, this is where preference comes into play. Similar to that, as well as this image here in Brooklyn, you're looking at the Pixel 4 XL, more flat, muted toned looks as opposed to the saturation and richer colors of the Pixel. I mean, on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now here's a 2X zoom. Again, in daytime, it looks pretty nice and quite solid. As we move over to portrait photos, we've got two portrait samples from the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. We've got the Pixel 4 XL on the, on the left-hand side. You can see the bokeh actually on all of them, I think look pretty good. Uh, there is no clipping on the edges. Everything looks nice. Although the, the colors on the Pixel, I, I think are more accurate. Galaxy is a bit softer and a little bit blown out in terms of the lighting. Now, when you go to low light photos, you can see where the Pixel excels, uh, sharper, brighter images as opposed to what you have on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Note 10 is not bad, but the Pixel is just definitely better here. Here is a 2x zoom low light shot, and you can see how the focus behind with the buildings in Manhattan look really solid, as well as the buildings in front. So you got that there. Uh, looking at this low light image here, you can see also again, the Pixel 4 XL is much brighter and sharper than the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And moving again to the 2X zoom, yes, the Galaxy does a good job, but the Pixel is just much better and brighter. It was really dark in this scene. Now we know that the Pixel 4 XL doesn't have an ultra wide camera, so of course the Galaxy wins this. Uh, you can still see the image and more of the background as well. But at this point, let's go ahead and take a look at video samples from both devices. So we've got the Pixel uh, 4 XL and we've got the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now we're recording at 4K 30 because the Pixel does not record at 4K 60. Now Google's answer is that they wanted to make sure that they got, um, you know, 
30, 30 frames per second better. Which is fine, I mean, I get it. Now I would run, except it's a little slippery and wet, but I'll do a light jog. Just to see. Now, as you know, Samsung does have a action mode, so they might do better in that, but we will see how it actually pans out with this. It's no secret the Pixel 4 XL excels definitely in photos. Now, I think the Galaxy did a really good job in daytime and the saturated colors, of course, is something that Samsung likes to do. That is a user preference, but when it came to low light photos, the Pixel 4 truly shined at that point in time. You also have astrophotography where you can capture uh, stars at night. That's something the Galaxy just cannot do. And in terms of video, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, I think did a much better job. Again, the ability to record at 4K 60 frames per second and also having better stabilization of the Pixel. Plus the microphone off the Galaxy Note 10 Plus just sounded much better, cut out a lot of background noise and wasn't high pitched there. Uh, and then you do have, of course, the super steady mode where while you're running, it stabilizes for you and you can, uh, of course, capture a lot of action um, photography or, or video with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So both devices have extra features that are not tied specifically to any smartphone. Now with the Pixel 4 XL, you have something called Motion Sense, which allows you to wave your hand to skip tracks left and right, uh, answer phone calls, reject phone calls, as well as also turn off your alarm. Now this is because of the built-in radar, and it's something Google has stressed and said this is something new and effective on this device. Now, how does this compare against what the Galaxy Note 10 has with, of course, the S Pen, which of course you can use to write notes, you can use with air gestures to control music as well, and also control your camera uh, from a distance, which gives you the ability to take selfies if you're traveling alone and you have no friends. Now, both devices come with a ton of features as we mentioned earlier, but I have to give the edge here to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It does more things. It has, of course, a better uh, battery. It's got, you know, a reverse wireless charging and the extra features that come with the S Pen are really nice. Now, the Pixel 4 XL has a great camera for taking photos and that's pretty much the only segment it does well against the Galaxy Note 10 Plus in my mind. Now, if you guys disagree with this, that's fine. Let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. If you want to get that, those wallpapers, Joker and of course, Batman, we have the links for you guys down below. Thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment. Yeah, say hey, Colin Segala is here, is back. We're gonna have a special time together, you know? I want you guys to give me your tips and tricks, whatever you like, whatever you want me to talk about, or, you know, give you some very good advice. Those advice corner is coming up. Cornell's Corner. Yeah, I like that name, Cornell's Corner, yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Singala. You know, maybe I'll come with some Thunder Purple again or something like that, you know. Something really re refreshing and good, but I'm looking sexy in this camera. <laughs> yes, Daniel, I like it, you know, you're making me look fresh and young. Yes. Anyway, uh, let's have a good time. And uh, yes, let's end this video. I don't know which one we want, P2 